everybody! We're here with another online baking class. Today we'll be making chocolate chip banana bread. We will start with breaking one egg into our mixing bowl. Making sure that there are no eggshells in the bowl. And now we will peel our banana and mash it in the mixing bowl with a fork. Now we will add our yogurt, so three tablespoons of yogurt. And now we will add our water, which is a quarter cup of water. Now we will stir it up. Now we will add our baking powder, which is half a teaspoon. And our baking soda, which is also half a teaspoon. pinch of salt now we will add our sugar which is one third of a cup so we could wipe out and dry off our measuring cup and use a metal tablespoon to scoop into our measuring cup And the one third line is the 85 on your measuring cup. And now we will add our 
tablespoon of powdered milk. So we'll need to wash our tablespoon. Now we will stir it up. Try and stir all of the lumps out, or most of them. Now we will add our half a cup of flour. So again, using our metal tablespoon, we will scoop it into our measuring cup. We will stir it up again. take our half a cup of chocolate chips half three quarters same difference And now we will pour half of our batter into our microwavable breakfast maker. And we will microwave it for three minutes. Now it is done, and with our oven mitts, we will grab the edges, the sides of the maker, and we will open it away from us to vent the steam. Now we will check for brownness. Looks about done. We will let it stand for one minute, and then we will dish it out onto the plate using our spatula technique that we did last time. Now we have dished out our other uh, chocolate chip banana bread and we're gonna take the other half of the batter 
and pour it into our breakfast maker. Now we are going to go and microwave it for another three minutes. Now our second one has finished and we are going to remove it from the microwave holding the sides. Make sure that we vent the steam away from us. Now we are going to carefully check for doneness. It's light and fluffy and could go in for another 30 seconds. Now it is finished, and let's double check it again. Pull it from the sides with our oven mitts. Venting it away from us. Now let's check with doneness, tapping it gently. It looks to be about cooked. We are going to let it stand for one minute. 